Hi guys, it's Sam here with Bargain Hunting Blonde, and today I'm bringing to you my February 2022 favorites. So, one, I cannot believe that it is February of 2022 already. It's just kind of crazy, and it's the end. So technically this is March. It's March. Yeah, crazy. But second is I am adding in a new category to my favorites video and this is going to be kind of like beauty favorites uh kind of like treat yourself favorites if you think about it that way so i actually saw megan from train girl megan and she was talking about how certain things that aren't necessarily luxury are like a luxury to her uh you know facials going and you know trying out different like eyebrow techniques stuff like that and i was like actually that is so true so today i am adding that in to my video and currently my favorite thing to do is get my nails done so if you've been following me on Instagram, you have seen this beautiful set of nails, which are a tad grown out now, but they honestly look amazing. Uh, they have been on for four weeks. They are gel with tips on them. And then that beautiful heart design, I will put up some pictures so you can see right when they were done. They're beautiful. The design on them is stunning. I had them done at L and Aya Nails Salon in Pacifica which is somewhere I had not been, and I had them done by Annie, and she did a great job. She was super helpful with helping me pick out the pink to do my nails, because they had like 50 pinks. I think it might have been even more than 50, and I had had seen a picture on Instagram, and I was like, I really like that pink, and she's like, we will find you that pink. So she helped me locate the perfect one, and she did such a good job. I was a little hesitant because I don't normally have such long of nails, but they look great and they have stayed on because that's always my worry that I'm going to somehow like chip one or pop one off, but they've stayed on really, really well. And the L Naya Nail Salon is actually part of the San Mateo Healthy Nail Salon program, which is a program that was launched in 2013 in San Mateo County to bring healthier nail salons to the customer, for the employees and just to the earth in general, to the planet. And they have done that by having the nail salons be certified. So they use less toxic chemicals. They have better uh, care practices and cleaning practices, and then they have better ventilation. So the nail salons there use way less toxic chemicals in their nail polishes and their nail polish remover. Uh, some of those chemicals have been linked to really bad things. And these nail salons all said that they are not using that and they still have great colors, great product. I mean, like I said, these have been on for four weeks, which is absolutely amazing. They look great. Um, I actually did get to partner and am partnering with San Mateo County for this initiative. And thanks to San Mateo County, I also have a gift card to give away to you guys to use at a healthy nail salon. So if you do live in the area, I will have a link down below to uh, have you guys enter for the gift card giveaway. Uh, so you can get your nails done, you can get your toes done. You can get really fun fingernails. I mean, these have brought me like so much joy. It's not even funny. Like I forgot how much I loved getting my nails done because that all kind of shut down with everything that was happening. And now it is back. And I have been so lucky to try out this healthy nail salon. I'll be trying out a different one in March and a different one in April, kind of updating you guys on the different salons, but highly recommend L and A uh, nail salon. Uh, highly recommend going to any San Mateo healthy nail salon that's part of the program and definitely uh, would recommend Annie Annie if you go to that salon. She did such a good job. And now my nails look great in all my pictures and all my videos. It's like it's like one of those weird things that you don't think about and you're like you don't even really notice then you get it done you're like this is the best luxury I've ever had done. Yeah so that's why I feel I'm very excited to have my nails done and they look so nice um, and it just brings me joy like I'm you know typing in my computer and I'm like haha look how beautiful my nails are. Um, and honestly, I went out to dinner with my mom and she was remarking on how much she liked them and then she showed her coworkers and so a bunch of them actually have nails that look like my nails now. So we're like a tribe um, over here. But okay, enough about my nails. Next category is a category that I always say the same SLG, but I am changing it up because I still have not changed up my wallet. And this is actually an SLG that I use all the time. Sorry guys, as I look down here, where did I just put it? Oh. It was literally right in front of me. And it is my key fob that is made of repurposed Louis Vuitton canvas that I did get from, uh, I guess we'll call it a small shop. It is a shop that does repurpose 
Louis Vuitton canvas and I love it. It does have a beautiful raspberry color on the inside. So I've actually been looking into getting something like this for a long time, but a lot of the Louis Vuitton ones are like really short and don't fit on your wrist. And I just did not understand the point of it. So when I saw this, I definitely picked it up. You'll have seen this in a, a lot of videos and in uh, different things on my Instagram because I literally use it all the time. It has my house keys on it. So I carry it all the time. So that is the SLG I'm picking for February, even though I'm still using my Gucci wallet. But we just won't discuss that. Okay. Next, I have a list. <laughs> Next is my bag. So you'll have seen this a ton on my Instagram, but I am feeling all the TBE energy, as Cassie would say, and have been using my Louis Vuitton limited edition denim speedy in the pink denim all the time. It is just such a cute bag and I absolutely love it. And yes, the denim does have fading from a dark to a light and I love that. The Vaquetta is not treated and is still very light, but I'm hoping it will patina the more that I use it. But I'm really loving that bag. Love using that bag. Currently have all my stuff in that bag. Next up is jewelry. So this also you will have seen on my Instagram and it is the Trinity bracelet. I don't know how well this is gonna focus. Let's see. You can kind of see it there. Uh, it does have the white gold, the rose gold, and the gold all linked together on a cord, and the cord is interchangeable with like a billion other colors at Cartier, free of charge. My husband got this for me for Valentine's Day after me talking about it all the time and how much I really wanted it. Uh, I have tried on the Justin Clue and the Love bracelet, and at the moment they don't fit with my lifestyle because I type all the time and especially with the love bracelet you're not supposed to take it on and off so me typing with the love bracelet on it's just like clink 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 all the time it drives me nuts and it also really will damage the gold so I decided to go with this because this is a cord and it is a string and you can make it nice and tight and it does not make any noise when I type and I sincerely appreciate that also I have a love wedding band in the white gold and it has not worn well so I am not sure how much I really want to venture down full gold pieces and I don't know what color gold I want to go with. Uh, I thought white gold because that's what my ring is set in but it did not wear well so I do not think white gold uh, from Cartier is for me. But next on to ready to wear which is my Hermes cardigan. It is fully wool and it is in a rose pale color. It's like a little cropped cardigan, but it's not like crazy cropped. It's just like you can tuck it into your high-waisted jeans cropped. And I absolutely love this sweater. If you look at the pattern, it is a subtle H in a diagonal, as you can see right there. And I really love it. I've been wearing this all the time. It is, I believe, let's check. I'm pretty sure it's 100% wool. Yes, 100% wool, which I appreciate because I do appreciate a good material. Um, I'm really into looking at tag materials uh, and have been like that for a year. So I really love this piece and have been wearing it a lot. I don't think it's made it into any Instagram post just because I wear it a lot when I'm not taking pictures. Like I wear it around the house or on Zoom. It's part of my Zoom attire. Like I can wear leggings on the bottom, nice cardigan on the top. Uh, okay, <laughs> I could talk about my Zoom attire for forever. Next up is my Celine sneaker and it is the Celine ct02 which it does say right there and it is like a very uh nike kind of air force one sneaker but it is celine and it does say celine all over in case you're confused it says celine on this it says celine there it says celine on the side it says celine on the bottom and it says celine on the back <laughs> so i really love these they're incredibly comfortable uh, i'm very happy i purchased them and i have been wearing them all the time like even just to run errands it's just like a little pick me up in my life with these fun sneakers. And then last but definitely not least is my book pick. So my book pick is Magnolia Palace by Fiona Davis or let's be real any book by Fiona Davis. If you have not read her books, any of them, all of them, read them. If you love historical fiction you will absolutely love her books. She does a great job with blending in two different storylines, normally one a little more present day and then one historical and blends them together. Uh, I just love her books. This latest one, Magnolia Palace, was about the Frick Museum, the Frick Collection, and kind of like the Frick Library of Art History and how those came about and that family um, and just kind of those dynamics. So what she normally does is she'll 
makeup, obviously a character who like interacts with a very well-known person. Like, you know, the Frick family is obviously a real family. That museum exists in New York. Like, she kind of just blends everything so seamlessly together. They are such quick reads. They are so good. Uh, she has, I think, probably like six books. I would recommend all six. This is just her latest one. So it is the one I recently read. I had picked up her book, Lions on Fifth Avenue, which is her second newest book, basically. So not the newest, which is this one. I'm Magnolia Palace, but the one before. And I had picked that up randomly um, on a quick pick at the Redwood City Library. And I loved it. Loved it. Absolutely amazing. And then I was like, I need to read all of her books. So I did. And then this new one came out and I got on the wait list as soon as I could. Just so good. Uh, really easy reads, but have like real history in them, which I really appreciate. And you don't feel that the character she's adding, uh, you know, the fiction part of the historical fiction is like not true. It, it really does blend and it doesn't like oddly stick out or anything like that. So would recommend all of her books, especially this one. But please let me know if you have any February favorites, you've had any good books you've read, anything like that, in the comments down below. Again, also free up, feel free to DM me. I know not everyone loves to leave comments, and I love to talk about books or handbags. Uh, if you do not follow my bookstagram, I'll have that link down below, which is Book Hunting Blonde, which I put all my latest reads on there. Uh, very open to discussing books on either platform. Honestly, if you want to see more handbag reveals, handbag reviews, and these monthly collection videos, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video, which is twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays. If you want to see how I style all these pieces, or if you want to see them way ahead of time, like I said, I think my Instagram has been blowing up with the speedy nano and denim. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, my blog, all of which are linked down below. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!